Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Three Kingdoms Zhao Yuan Let's Play. So we met up with Ma Yulu, who's informed us that Liu Bei is no longer in the Street Province as he has been beaten by Cao Cao's forces. And now they're on the run down to an area in Gucheng where Zhang Fei is located and he's, Zhang Fei is looking for Liu Bei. It's gonna be a new map. We're gonna have to get there first. All the way over here. We can take care of our inventories finally here. Which is going to be important because we have way too much stuff. Let's see. We'll play first salvage. We'll repair. And then... We could potentially salvage this, but I think it might be part of a upgradable set in the future, so let's just hold on to that. I mean, we don't need this many copies of this item. Yeah, we get some good gear here. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. We're gonna sell nothing. No crafting gear. We just gotta store everything. Technically could sell some arrows, but I guess we'll keep that. Oh, we didn't check about the crafting. Still 60. Do we have any recipe that's above 60? Oh, we have a 70 sword. Still need the same stuff, so we can definitely make this in the future. Yeah, only thing we have that's a level 70 recipe. I want to see if I can buy some higher tier ones. Doesn't have any. Our storage, I think it's inside. If I remember correctly. Yep. So, all this goes in. Probably should sell that, but doesn't have to do it now. Alright, now we can go meet it's gonna be some tough fights because Liu Bei is on the run after Guan Du from Yuan Shao's territory and then obviously Guan Yu is on the run as well from Cao Cao and rejoining Liu Bei so I expect there'll be plenty of named generals to fight later on as well. What is going on over here? Who's fighting who? Yuan Shao's troops, by color. Ooh, lots of cavalry. Chests are still not reset from previous battles, so... We're going to the Xu and Yu province. We're basically going west across China. Getting closer to the Jin province. It's another province boundary here.
New area. Looks like it's gonna be a resource spot. It's a level 40 recipe that was dropped. Not, nothing better for her, apparently. Still just Jade. Go to the other route first. Oh. Lucky us to find that chest. For now, I mean, it's gonna lead somewhere later. No war, just seeing if there's anything we can farm over here. Maybe the spring water, but nothing. Uh, we don't need that med. We'll head towards Liu Bei. Or actually, Zhang Fei, we don't know where Liu Bei is right now. This is what we're looking for. We're gonna be back here a lot because I need a lot of those resources. So we get four here at a time. I think these respawn in like a two minute timer. No enemies nearby. So it takes some work to get it, but uh, reliable resource four will actually craft one weapon. We need a lot basically. The first Gu Cheng. Just means ancient city. It's like a ruined city that Zhang Fei took over. Wonder if they have him kidnapping the Xiaohu lady, or actually a little girl. I mean, it's not really a pedophile thing. I mean, she is like 14 when she got kidnapped, but that's the age where you can get married in this time period, so. It is what it is. Anything hiding in these fields? Had a couple of chests. Kind of just hiding in between, but not here. Pretty sure the story is going to follow romance from this point on, because this is when Zhao Yun comes back and joins Liu Bei in romance. So previously, those like seven year gap is kind of made up and flushed out by the game. But now it's gonna probably strictly follow romance. Another storage. We'll drop this in. Level 40, yeah, that's probably useless. Might just have to sell it. We're looking for Zhang Fei here. Okay. Here's our guy. Look who I brought. Glad you're back. Good thing nothing happened to you. You know where Liu Bei is? No words. Where's Guan Yu? Yeah, Guan Yu's working for Cao Cao right now. Zhang Fei's mad about that. But the reason is because Guan Yu made a deal to protect Liu Bei's family after 
Liu Bei was defeated at the Su province and Guan Yu was captured with Liu Bei's family. Don't be like that. What happened? Why is he so mad about Guan Yu? Rumor that Guan Yu has joined Cao Cao. I know there must be more to the behind the story, but uh, Zhang Fei is not so sure about that, and he's forbidden anyone from mentioning his name. Anyone that mentions him makes him super angry. You know, Guan Yu is so loyal, how could he surrender to Cao Cao? Must be something behind the story, or maybe you're mistaken. You say the same thing they say. If he was really loyal, he wouldn't work for a second boss. Now is not the time to argue. We still need to look for Liu Bei. Do you have any good plans? No, Liu Bei must be blessed and be, you know, he, he must get out. Of, he's definitely going to get out of trouble. Even though this town is small, there's no troop to defend. We need to find a better place. Somewhere that can, you know, be a defensible position. And we can build our forces up and wait for Dobe's news. So they've been searching nearby and they know that there is a mountain nearby that can be a fortified position. Called the, you know, uh, the resting cow mountain. Uh, lying down cow mountain. There's a bandit group there that harasses merchants traveling by, but it's a good place to garrison troops. So if we could maybe get those troops to surrender to us, it can also increase our troop count. This is where Zhao Yun is going to meet up with Pei Wen Shao, who tries to steal our horse, beats him up. He agrees to work for us, and then Zhou Cang is his boss, who doesn't want to work for Zhao Yun. But then Guan Yu comes by later, they try to steal his horse, he kills Pei Wen Shao, and then Zhou Cang works for Guan Yu. Everything is in romance, it's in a novel, it's not actually historical. So before we came back, Zhang Fei was only one who can defend here, so no one could really go to the bandit camp. Now that you know we're back, we can be the one who go take care of the bandits. So she has to leave because the assassination plot has Ma Teng related on it, so they have also left the capital, and they went back to the west, and she needs to go back as well. She's happy to see us well. In the future, if we ever fight Cao Cao, make sure to count her in. Right, you gotta go back to your father. It's a long way back. Make sure to take care of yourself. Our alliance is still here. Of course, we'll work together with Ma Teng in the future. Until then. All right, so she's off, and we're supposed to go to the mountain, which is back where we came. Let's do it. And we can get a couple more of those uh, silver ingots on our way back. Actually, they're technically silver bars once we uh, farm them, but this is going to be a very popular area. I guess it's not saving Liu Bei just yet. It's more of fighting bandits. Expect Pei Yan Shao to be some sort of a mini boss. Maybe we'll meet Zhou Tang as well. Oh, guess we'll bump into someone on the way. Oh, not familiar with local terrain. It's getting late. Let's go find a nearby village and spend the night and also get some news and intel. Okay, they want us to go up here. Very peaceful area, not even any wild animals to deal with. Alright, see if someone wants to... Technically, we don't need this anymore. We have so many jade. Wait, do we just go into the house? I guess we do. Knock, knock, knock. Ooh, where does the general come from? And introduce ourselves? Since we're looking for Liu Bei, it's getting late. Can we borrow the house and spend the night here? Mao Xing Guo, Ming Chang, Shi Ju Zi. 
Wu Chang. Famous. I mean, he he know he heard of Liu Bei. You know, we're looking for him. He's lost. Don't worry. He is so benevolent. The heaven will protect him. Who are you? My son. You know, walks around, doesn't do anything. I was a wonder, you know, play around all the time when I was young, didn't know how to read. But after I got older, it got better. Hope he does the same. Is there a mountain nearby that's uh, named Wo Niu Shan? It's not far, but there are bandits up there. If you're going there, be careful. Why are you not worried about these bandits? Initially, he was pretty uh, worried about them. But they seem to be only hunting down traveling merchants, but doesn't harass any of the neighboring villages. They only take money and horses, they don't kill people. Yep. And they bump into poor people, they would actually give them food and money. And since we're poor, no one's coming after us. Seems like, you know, good guys. Alright, so we're gonna live here for tonight. Telling us to take a rest. You're not from this area. Oh, that was an accident. Didn't mean to poke him. Uh, why do you ask? We're from Changshan. Just asking. N nothing. I believe in romance, he might work for the bandits and inform that we're here. Wait, where do, where's the bed? Oh, here. Next day. All right, we're gonna go. And going that way. Before we do, let's grab four more of those silver. Every chance we get. The V and C buttons are right next to each other. Alright, let's go take down some bandits. Another bandit camp. All right, some elites. Ah, that's the sun. It's like, we came this far, where's that horse you saw? Right, Guo Zi. Yeah, we're lucky, it's that guy. Here to Trying to steal our horse, which we're not exactly riding. Leave your horse and you can be spared. Trying to steal someone's horse in open daylight? Are you guys the bandits? Yeah, we are. And since you know, why don't you just give us your horse? I came to look for you guys. I didn't know that you guys would come. Ask my spear if we're gonna leave our horse. And we fight. Well, that's not even the elite. Okay, we do get knocked down, but no problem. I'm gonna spare you because of your dad. Just wait, I'm gonna ask our leader to get here. And he runs away. It's pretty weak, but runs pretty fast. Alright, we can just kind of follow him instead of uh, tracking where the bandit camp is. Alright, they said stop him. 
These two must be elites. Maybe good drops. Ah, feather. We'll take that. No chests outside. Yep. Missing? Ah, oh, there's actually a room full of things we can, uh, they see vendors. Now we can't shoot up, that's the problem. Let me go check out the vendors real quick. We have the bow drawing sound in the background. Audio glitch. Uh, don't ask me where the horses come from. Uh, cooldown increase. Yeah, we're not missing Jade. What food do you have? 16% crit chance. 12% crit. We'll just buy everything. Hmm. Mm, we'll pass. Anything purple tier? Take that. Who's this boss that they're talking about? <laughs> Leader of the camp. Oh, running away? Wait, aren't we the bandits? What are we running for? Yeah, former yellow bandits, so... Or oh, yellow turbans. Turn bandit. Who are you? We introduce ourselves. Why don't you guys surrender? And, uh, they're gonna come fight us. Stops us. You know, making comment at our young age, giving us a chance to leave the horse and leave. Uh, he's just trying to act strong. Like, we're kind of, you know, impressed that he's trying to show leniency, but I think he's a little scared to fight us. Right, Pei Shaw. Fictional character, does not exist in real life. Pei Shaw is fictional, uh, Zhou Tang is fictional. Only exists in romance. Basically, he's a little angry at us for mocking him, and uh, he's gonna fight us. Wow. Are you guys gonna fight too? Oh no, it's a fair fight. Oh, okay, okay. It looks like you're stuck on your ally model, and oh, actually, not stuck. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, whatever move that was. Alright, he's low enough that he's gonna surrender to us. You, how are you so strong? Stop. Uh, it's young General. It looks so handsome. Can you just be a little nicer and gentler? Let's not use weapons. No need to be so crude. Uh, I'm Pei Wen Shao. Where do you come from? You know, uh, sorry to stop you when you said Changshan. <laughs> Long Ge, bro. Yeah, he's, you know, seems a little goofy, you know, a little slick of tongue, but, uh... If I can convince them to surrender to us, we can perhaps get all the troops. So we're going to try to introduce ourselves, looking for Liu Bei. And uh, introducing why we're here, why Liu Bei's in trouble. And if you guys were forced to become bandits, why don't you guys join Liu Bei instead? Liu Bei, uh, Imperial Uncle Liu. The one who saved the Xu province? So famous. Alright, delighted. Delighted to join us? You, you guys, you know, want bandits? And yeah, we're trying to, you know, help everyone. Of course, we would want bandits if you're willing to, you know, turn yourself and join the army. And this is a path for you guys. But... He has another boss. Zhou Tong is his boss. Oh no, that's not the reason. It's, he heard that Cao Cao has taken Xu province and Liu Bei is uh, kind of missing in action. It's a bad time to join Liu Bei. It feels like a losing business. He's not going to do it. You know, it's benevolent, trying to restore the Han, fame in all the land. You know, he's the one who has the heart of the people, even though we're currently down. But, uh, who knows how things would be against, you know, the thief Talze. We're basically convincing him to join us. Uh, he's, he's impressed by how we're trying to convince him. And uh, well, why are we bandits? It's to, you know, get better life for ourselves. And now if we can, you know, follow Zhao Yun here and join Liu Bei. Then we are now, you know, going to be troops, officials. Instead of being bandits. Can we still eat and drink? Can we get rich? Can we get married? You know, as long as you guys have, you know, military achievements. Once there's peacetime, of course, you guys can have families. We'll drink and eat together in a, in a you know, a world of peace. You're the boss. I'm second in command. Yeah, let's let's call each other by our official rank instead of just you know bro. Alright, everyone agrees, everyone's willing to follow us. But here comes Zhou Tang. Introducing him the deal that he made with us. He was second in command. So he was first in command, second in command. It's like, if you're second in command now, what would I be? Unhappy about that? I guess he'll fight us? Why don't you become General Zhou? Doesn't believe in us, think we tricked him, and I uh, guess we'll fight. All right, guess we fight. Ah, that's all we need. He's so skilled. Can't beat him. What do I do? Told you. I told you to listen. Now you got hit, right? Listen to me. Even if we fight together, we can't beat him. Losing is fine, doesn't lose face. Time to surrender. You can surrender, I don't want to. I have helpers. Uh, he's gonna go look for Guan Yu. 
Guang Yu's not here yet, but uh, introducing the guy, Zhou Tang. A little rash, a little unhappy that he lost. Alright, there's a lot of people here, but they need to be trained, they need to be drilled. I'm gonna stay here and train them. How do you feel about that? Of course. I guess we're training here? Oh, we're supposed to go rest at a at an inn? Oh, Kulafon, just... Oh, chest! What level gear are we talking about here? 70. Okay. Now, the particular uh, tiger amulet here, it's not what we're looking for. already have a bunch of these, so I'm not so keen on that. But the level 70 gear is encouraging. To the point where I kind of want to... Check out if they can give us some level 70 recipes. Because so we don't have a lot of that. Yeah, a lot of level 70 gear. We learned one recipe. This would be the highest tier chest or gold chest in the game, I guess. So if you want to use the exploit to run through a bunch of things, this would be the place to do it. Yeah. Level 70 drop pretty consistently, level 70 boots. Pretty straightforward and easy. Glitch to get a bunch of things. Look at that. And we even get a crystal. Helmet. Yep. Oh, this is a duplicate already. It's pretty fast. Hopefully the chest is still around later, because I'm not going to do this forever here. Obviously we're going to advance our story. Gold tier level 70 leg piece. I mean, it's a little too good to kind of just let go. Are there other chests around? And what happened to our level 65 gauntlet? We should have grabbed it from the chest earlier. Also check to see if it's still around. No loot here. Yeah, there's crit damage on that. Pretty much want to wait for crit chance stuff. No good. We don't have a chest storage over here. We don't. So I can't check my chest. Maybe it's in the room. It doesn't make sense if it's not available. See if it's in here. Yep. Do we have it? We do. 65 gear. Uh, the 70 gears can all go back in. Oh, actually, I don't want the purple ones now, do I? Even if they're 70, I wouldn't want them. But the red ones and the gold ones will take. Is it better though? It's actually not. It's higher level for sure, but 20% uh, extra crit damage on s abilities and 5.8% crit chance. Definitely top tier there. I guess we'll just hold on to that. 
I don't think we have any recipes for 65 gear. Yeah, it jumped straight to 70, pretty much. Didn't see any 45 or 55 recipe either, so that item might not be something we can replicate. All right, we're gonna call it a night, and hopefully Gold Chest still there next day. It'll be such a shame if we don't get to do it again. And if that's indeed the case, then uh, feel free to exploit the heck out of that when you do get to this part in your run. It's still here, yes. Now, I'm actually kind of confident the chest is going to be around long term because there is a fast traveling point here. So unless this burns down, oh, which might be a case if Guanyu comes through here. But let's see what happens. All right, everyone here is get drilled for us. We're going to train them. Basically, we'll demonstrate some spear moves for everyone to practice. Everyone's super delighted to see us make some move. Wait, I don't know how to do that. The spear toss? We have a move that does that? <laughs> Alright, no need to flatter us. You know, sp spar with each other in pairs. I see. Drilling the bandits. Report. Let's see who's here. It's gonna be Guanyu, I think. Two strangers. What do they look like? One looks like a scholar. Oh, maybe it's Zhang Fei. Yeah, it's Zhang Fei and uh, Mi Zhu here. Indeed. I came here to look at Zhou why so many rules? Everyone's blocking me. You're blocking me too. Alright. It's been a couple days. You guys are friends. Come in. Who are you? Get introduced. This is the bandit leader. And basically we know we're a family now. Let's go drink. He's happy. They're gonna get together pretty well. You know, Zhang Fei and the bandits. Next day, don't lose the chest, but maybe a refresh on the chest. The weather here is just weird. It's like always thundering as a background music for this map. It is kind of odd, even the next day. Do you have any news of Liu Bei? Oh, we have news. Used to work, uh, was at Yuan Shao for a bit. Sun Gan? Sun Qian? This is this is wrong name. Right, Sun Qian. They type the wrong character. They have the right voice. Oh. So Guan Yu is also here back with the two wives, and uh, Liu Bei is also back. They're in, going to be in Gu Cheng. We can meet together. We can come back to Gu Cheng to meet them. So Zhou Cheng and Yuan Shao and Guan Yu's story gets cancelled? Wait, no, 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 no. The romance story is Guan Yu bumps the camp first. <laughs> Zhou Cheng's back with someone. Let's play with Guan Yu. Right, and Zhao Yin kills Yuan Shao, I think, in the, in the novel, before Guan Yu could tame them. And then Guan Yu bumps into Zhao Yin, very happy that they're reunited. Ah, oh, the chest is open and fine. Excellent. So unless Guan Yu burns down the camp, we should be fine. I mean, that's the only person that Zhou Sun can bring back, right? It's gotta be Guan Yu. Wow, he's actually a companion. I mean, he has a club weapon that we can't even replace. Yeah, he can now look like the same color as our units. Yep. Liu Bei, Guan Yu, Zhou Cheng. And it's Liu Bei. 
So, uh, we're gonna be friends. No worry. It's all confusion. We kind of tell him the story what happened back in the Yu province, how we came back, and then Ma Yunlu told us what happened here, and how we bumped into Zhang Fei and Mi Zhu, why we're here in training troops. Right. So, we're gonna come back and work for him. So we're gonna go back with Obey. He will continue to stay here and train them. Oh, I'm afraid this camp's gonna get wrecked, actually. It's gonna get wrecked probably by Ren Shaw's troop or something. They're gonna wreck this camp. That chest is probably gonna say goodbye. Uh, we're gonna go back with the Obey. And uh, that's probably what will happen to this camp. I'm a little concerned. But let's go back. If we lose it, we lose it. It's fine. Good news is we can get some more of those silver. Although we probably wouldn't craft anything that's level 60 right now, we're 65 already. We're probably gonna wait till 70. 70 should be the max level, so we can work towards our kind of final set at that point. I think they use the same metal for level 70 gear. I think silver is the highest tier metal resource we've seen so far. If it's a new one, then we probably won't be able to use this. But we probably still need to make like level 60 gold set for upgrading to Tarin's gear and so forth. Oh, fighting! Venshaw's troop indeed. We went the wrong way. We went the wrong way. We should have gone down. So we're at a wrong battlefield. Huh. Can we fast travel? Because if not, then we should just go back. We should just go back to where we came from. We're supposed to go south instead of north. Which means after we collected the silver, we should just kept going down. Ah, this at least means we get the silver again.
Now we're back. Feels pretty safe. Got all the banners up already. Look how many little flags we need to put to know that what faction we belong to. And the game's all back together. We're gonna celebrate that we reunited. We're gonna have a feast. We're gonna drink. Oh, we have a little building here. Liu Bi is. Oh, Liu Bi, Liu Bi is. I think you can call it either way. It's a yellow turban group that he was working with in Runan. Previously, during the Battle of Gondu period, came here to join along with Gondu, and we also got the bandits on the hill. Yuan Shao sent a letter to unite together to attack Cao Cao, that we can attack north to attack Xu Chang, uh, no Xu Du. We're united, we have Zhao Yun here as well, we can definitely do it. Attack Cao Cao. Nope, nope. We only have one county. Our troops are fresh recruits. We can't take Cao Cao on. It would be like attacking a stone with an egg. So I guess Gongdu is still going on. Time is a little off. Gongdu is over by this time. That's why Liu Bei left. It's a good time to train and uh, look for better opportunity. Right, talking about a missed opportunity that Yuan Shao had. So obviously, the city is small, no beneficial geographic you know, advantages, going to be hard to defend against big armies here. Alright, nobody thinks Yuan Shao is going to lose. By the time Cao Cao beats Yuan Shao and take all the north, he will come south, then it's hard for us to resist. We got tens of thousands of troops from gaining the yellow turbans in Runan. This is our chance to fight. Uh, it's not how romance went, but uh, sure. It does fit Liu Bei's willingness to save the emperor. So of course we're all willing to fight to the death, and I guess we're attacking. I'm supposed to go back to the mountain camp and fetch the bandits. It will become our new troop. And we get more silver, because we're going back the same way. Please don't be destroyed. Please still have the gold chest. Defeated by a little fence. Well, it's not burning down, so that's good. Peyanshal dies in the book, but I mean, Zhao Yun kills him, so I guess unless we kill him here. Still looking good, still looking good. Chess is right there. Perfect. Guess we're marching out. It's time. 
March those who are ready to fight. We're gonna attack Cao Cao and save the Emperor. And they're gonna charge out. Report. Uh oh, getting attacked. Oh, he's good. Nobody already got attacked by Cao Cao's army. And we're gonna go there and save them. And uh, here they go. And the thing that I want the most are the recipes, not necessarily the items. Hmm. Feels like the camp is going to be safe long term. So we don't have to dally here. I do want to salvage some materials before we leave. Or else we might run into an inventory problem on the battlefield. I think it's over here. Yep. as good as what we, we have. Alright, we should be headed to a new direction. But Liu Bei technically has to march north to go back to Xuchang, so... That could be northeast. I guess if we go east, it makes sense, but no, we're going back to Gu, Gu first, or Gu Cheng first. And yes, that means we get more silver. All the way down. There's a lot of map here with nothing. I wonder if there's going to be a fight in this map later. Yeah, there's also a building here that we never really interacted with or allow us to go in. Alright, Tsao troops will be here. Let's see who we have to deal with. Want us to go to military camp first? Alright. Sorry, we're late. Perfect timing. I wanted to attack, you know, fast, but uh, it's already one Guandu. And Yuan Shao is sick. So it seems like the North is one. Technically, not really after Guandu, you know, Cao can't attack them. Although Yuan Shao is still alive for two more years, and then took him about five more years before he took the North. But Cao Cao is here, got a small win, but then they shut their camp door and uh, been blocked here. 
Xia Hao Dun is attacking Ru Nan. So Gong Du came here with food. Xia Hao Yuan has surrounded him. Zhang Fei wanted to go save them. No news. Cao Cao's army came here from quite far. They're fatigued. So we can't stay here long or else we get surrounded. So we want to attack Ru Nan. So this is no peace force. Gong Du is getting attacked. Zhang Fei has been surrounded by Xia Hou Yuan and Yue Jin's troops, so we're going to go save. Oh, Ru Nan's also been breached. Liu Pi's ran away. Wang Yu couldn't be there in time. Wang Yu's also trapped. Guess this, guess this is our turn. And we're going to go try to save them. Mi Fang? Ah, the guy who will eventually surrender. They're here already. I kind of want to look at the map. I guess we're just going to go down. Wait. Arrow disrupted my cooldown for the ability. Nobody's also with us. Oh wow. Who's behind us? Oh, Xu Chu. The tiger fool with the stripes. I guess we have to fight Xu Chu and block him. This did not happen in the romance or in the story, but I guess we do get to fight. Tiger Fool, spam all these moves real quick. Full distance. That's it. That's all we need. He's strong, we can't kill him fast enough, we gotta go protect Liu Bei, so we're gonna go... Maybe this is when Pei Shao dies, he's gonna stay here and fight. He's too strong for you. Don't try too hard. I got a lot of ways to survive, don't worry. I guess this is how he dies, maybe? I mean, we're leaving him here. What is this? I threw some sand at him, or... Oh, sure. Limestone. Alright, so he's gonna tangle with him, and we're gonna go try to keep finding a way to save Liu Bei. Seems to be down here. This time to the south. Liu Bei has. This is the family. Right, so they abandoned the city because Xia Houdun's troops are there. Guan Yu's blocking him. That's why everyone's here. Where's Guan Yu? He's still at Runan fighting with Cao Cao's forces. Cao Cao's army is here. Zhang He. Alright, so we're gonna block him for Liu Bei. 
Oh, another force. Oh, these two are the ones who surrendered to Cao Cao after one duel. So they're here, to the north where we are. So I guess we have to hurry down over there and save them. say to hurry, so I guess we have to kind of just rush it. Uh, we are very low health, by the way. We are here! Oh, go on. Able to, there we go, execute him. Zhang He is next. Alright, we gotta keep going down. Everybody's still in danger. Force. I think we had to deal with them. Yep. He's approached us. Alright, let's get off our horse. Oh, that's it. We don't have to kill him. Why are you and Zhou Tong's here? Okay, maybe he's gonna help. Yeah, he's here to help us. Not sure if we need any help here. It's really difficult fighting Zhao Yun. Now with Guan Yu here, he's retreated. So we fought him enough. Wunan's ready taken by Cao Cao's forces. Where is Zhang Fei? Zhang Fei wants to go save Gongdu, trapped in the mountains. So, Wang Yu is going to protect Liu Bei, and we're going to go try to save Zhang Fei. We don't get anything for beating Zhang He here. Alright. Find him? Yes, we found him. Where's my brother? They're safe. Alright, we're gonna fight our way back out.
Alright, I think we're out. Wasn't he surrounded by Xiao Houyuan? Asking him to go. We're looking for Pei Shao, who might be in danger after we left him with Xu Chu. So we're gonna go look for him again. Probably dead, just to match up with Romance. Here? Oh, he's. Yep, body is here. Oh no, he's here. Oh, uh, he's alive. Oh, he killed him? You're joking? That's <laughs> eh, a joke. Okay. He's injured. A lot of his uh, other bandits died. Alright, so we're gonna go back. I guess we did a decent job of cleaning up this area. Do a few fights up ahead because we didn't fight this area yet. Yep. Skin, please. Thank you. Got a bone. Want a skin, but a new place to farm this thing. Gathered together, went south. Civilians following Liu Bei, of course. There is us, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, Mi Zhu, Jian Yong, Mi Feng, Zhou Cang, Pei Yuan Shao. Benevolence is announced to the world. Happy that you're here. There's not much we can give, but uh, a sheep and some liquor. It's like passing by and disturbing the people. And then we're gonna have a feast with everyone. Lamenting that he's been old and hasn't done much. This is something that happened after he went to Liu Bao for a while. You know, calling back to the founding emperor. Losing is not a big deal. Eventually, you know, we can come back from this. Everyone's safe. Going to go join Liu Biao. Sun Qian's gonna go be a com you know, one of our envoys to talk to Liu Biao beforehand. Central Plain Hills. Alright, on the way to Jin Province. Chapter 11. Sun Qian went to go ahead, talk to Liu Biao. Tai Mao didn't want to accept Liu Bei, but uh, was able to convince Liu Bei to accept Liu Bei. Liu Bei, 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 Liu B
狱政与刘表啊，蔡茂是 rebel in 江夏那张武 ，and this is where 刘备 got 地炉的 horse。蔡瑁 try to set up situation to kill Liu Bei, but the horse saves him. We're in the novel territory here. 即荆州众官于襄阳设鸿门宴，宴席之上，蔡瑁设计支开赵云，刘备则幸得一级指点，乘马逃离，却被韩信挡住去路。就在蔡瑁追兵将至之时，地卢马越谈西，助刘备逃出生天。而赵云一察觉不对，旋即追来，探寻无效。哦，我们正在寻找刘备了，因为我们，你知道，我们应该是他的保镖，但他被他被他被他被他被他被他被他被他被他被他被他被他被他I'm guessing more silver here, and maybe the higher tier wood, the hundred year wood. Is it? Nope. It's not the highest tier wood, but we'll save here. We'll go look for Liu Bei next time. Plenty of fighting done already. And I might look around to see if we can go back to that bandit camp and get all the recipes for level 70. As we're prepared to get our final set for the game. We're 66, still a couple levels till we get max level, but it's getting close. So until next time, bye.